Hello. This is a mid-month for um, the 15th through the 31st. Taking you guys on into the new year. <clears throat> Merry Christmas to those of you who um, celebrate Christmas. And um, this is for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. Love and guidance. All right. Aquarius. This reading will not resonate for everyone because it is a general reading. It's meant for, you know, thousands of you. All right. All right, guys. Here we go. Aquarius. Got my deck all flipped upside down. Overall energy is the Six of Pentacles here. I feel like this is about finances right now. I feel like a lot of you are, you know, out buying gifts and just trying to, you know, spread the 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 joyous spirit. I feel like you come as a hierophant. Challenging you is the Ace of Pentacles. In the past, we had the Devil. Your foundation is a two of swords. Your present is the sun. Your near future is temperance. How you see yourself is a seven of pentacles. The environment, we have a seven of wands. Your hopes and fears is a four of wands. And your potential outcome is the chariot. Okay, I'm liking this. I'm liking this. All right. So I feel like, you know, the Six of Pentacles is under the bottom. And I said, you know, it seems like you're just out, you know, just buying gifts and just feeling, you know, the spirit of this holiday season in general. Um, who you are right now. For those of you that that applies to the Six of Pentacles, this reminds me of, if you look at the Hierophant in this card, it looks like Santa without his red garb on, you know, um, taking care of people, giving guidance to people, giving love to people, showing love to people, and um, people are looking up to you. They look to you. They look to you for guidance, support. Um, valuing your opinion okay this is also you being very confident in your belief system but I get the feeling that um, also that a lot of you are so focused on helping others and being there for others that you've kind of put yourself on the back burner a little bit because your challenge is the ace of pentacles and that is to start something new and i'm just getting that this is possibly somebody that you have a connection with that is wanting more than you do at this time i'm just getting that strongly they want to offer you something but at, at this point, I don't think you're really sure of it because this is your foundation, the Two of Swords. This is your foundation. This is what you're standing on. It's like you really don't know if you should go there. Um, you really don't know if it's a good idea, if this person is even the right person for you. It's like with the Hierophant, you know, you're looking at things from all sides because the Hierophant, you know, they stand on a foundation where they have their belief system and, you know, it just is what it is. Okay? So they, they're not wavering, the, the Hierophant, quite confident. Because in the past, I feel like you were being challenged with a situation that made you feel either this person, um, somebody was really, really attached to you, or you were really, really attached to them. And I feel like, you know, here is you 
because you're needing to, you know, be patient with yourself and be patient with others too and allow for something new and good to come into your life. This devil energy is gone. And as the Hierophant, you're not going to allow that to come back. You're strong. You're strong. Your present situation is the sun. Happy. You're awakened. You're enlightened. You know what path to take with the Hierophant. This is what's crowning you. Utter happiness. This is, this is the best card in the best position in this deck. For me all right here you are again with the seven of pentacles this is how you see yourself you know you just take an inventory of the situation you're not really making any moves you're hopeful that this person is who they say they are because you know you are who you say that you are you know that you know you want somebody that's going to come correct because that's how you come that's how you bring it that's how you deliver. As I said before, in the environment, we have the seven of wands. And I'm, I'm getting that this is not the person that's feeling this way. This is how the person views you as, you know, you're defensive, um, that you're probably blocking them. Not defensive in the fact that you're aggressive or anything, but that you won't allow them in. That you're not opening up, that you won't allow them in. But that is your defense mechanism because there again, you know, you dealt with this energy in the recent past and you're just not trying to go there anymore. That's just the bottom line. All right. And I think in your hopes and fears, we have a four of wands. I think this is a this is being afraid to commit for fear of failure. So there is a need to let go of your fear that a past situation is going to repeat itself because as the Hierophant, you're not going to allow it. This is also somebody wanting to marry you. This is what's challenging you. The Ace of Pentacles, accepting that offer. Accepting that commitment. If it's not a marriage, it's a stable commitment. It's a stable, grounded, solid, positive commitment, okay? Your potential outcome is a chariot. This is moving forward, going towards success. This is where I see you going into the new year, Aquarius. You're going towards success. Have faith. Use your intuition. Know that you will not allow anybody to take advantage of you, to take advantage of your goodness, because you will see it a mile away, okay? So Aquarius, that is how you bring it in a new year. I love it, guys. I will be speaking with you soon. Bye now.